Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So, I had a positive video. Now we're back to negative topics and topics that are deeply depressing. Here we are, summoning our inner Chris Hansen. So, if you've been on the internet for the past few days, on Twitter, there's been a resurgence of a case that got a lot of attention months ago, back in the summer. So, this case is the case of, of Ariadna Juarez and her boyfriend, or, you know, what most people call it, so, I would prefer to leave the victim as anonymous as possible. Now, the victim does have a huge amount of followers on Instagram, so he would not be hard to find, but I would really suggest to just stay away because he's 13. Her Instagram is private. I requested a follow, but I doubt she's letting people just follow her considering the resurgence of the heat against her. I figured we could go a little bit back to give a little bit of a backstory to anyone who might be unfamiliar with this case in the first place. So back in August of 2018, The Sun, yes, not the most reliable of all publications, but there are very few publications talking about this, so we gotta take what we can get. We can take all the information with a grain of salt, though I don't really know what really we can debate when we know that she's 18 and we know that he's 13. But anyway, here it says, mind the age gap, woman 18 defends relationship with the 13 year old boyfriend in controversial video and even the boy's mom supports her. The 18 year old has been labeled a child abuser for dating the boy, but his mother insists it's a good idea. We gotta definitely write a song about how we, we do not diddle kids. Do not diddle kids, it's no good diddling kids. There is no quicker way for people to think that you are diddling kids than by writing a song about it. So here we have dumb and dumber. Dumb thinking that it's okay to date a 13 year old boy date, dumber excusing that an 18 year old woman is essentially abusing her child. The mother and Ariadna made a video back in the day where they were claiming that he was more mature than a typical 13 year old and that since he was a child he was more mature and that he's not the typical 13 year old which to me is a very sad and stupid defense because by saying that he's very mature for a 13 year old you're just reminding me that he's a 13 year old which even if he is the most mature Einstein 13 year old, he's still 13, so I really don't know what the hell they're trying to get with that. But anyway, then in this video with the mother, Ariadna is saying how this relationship isn't that big of a deal because they have not had sexual contact, which to be fair, neither I nor you can know that. I'm just gonna put out there that on one of their Instagrams, there are very public pictures of them kissing on the mouth, which doesn't make me very hopeful for this entire situation. This situation to me does not seem like chastity central, but let's hope for the best, though this seems like an entire shit show that has no real defense or positive outlook no matter which way I try to look at this. It's like, hey, why aren't you in jail? The mother and Ariadna go into this whole thing of saying, why are you focusing on this? There are people dying, there are people being beat up and stuff, which Yes, it's true, but that doesn't undermine the fact that you're still with a minor, which is not only morally and ethically just not okay, but also legally, because let's remember, these two are in Texas, and in Texas, the age of consent is 17 years old. It says, individuals aged 16 or younger in Texas are not legally able to consent to sexual activity, and such activity may result in prosecution for statutory rape. See, I don't really think there's much of debatable here, even trying to see some other side. There's no other side. This is illegal, immoral, unethical, and creepy. Right. Moving pretty quick there. Why don't you have a seat right over there? First and foremost, I want to say that me and him were never in a relationship. We never dated. I know everybody was talking about, well, they're like in a sexual relationship. And just to clear things up, dating does not mean having sexual intercourse. So you cannot say people were having sex just because they were dating. There's so I feel like there's so much more to dating than just sexual relationships. And this is y'all's first thought. I know as soon as y'all hear, oh, he's 13 and she's 18. Oh, well, she's taking advantage of him. But that never happened. We were always just getting to know each other and we were barely starting to get to know each other. We never got to the point to even date. So what makes you think we got to the point of having sexual relationships? I know that a lot of you guys are posting on social media. Are these All these negative comments are not informed. So just to let you know, we did speak to a lawyer before all this began to happen to make sure there was going to be no issues if we talking. ever dated. Like I said, when we spoke to the lawyer, they told us that there's nothing wrong with dating. Dating can mean just coming over to have dinner with the family 
and but there is obviously issues if it gets to any type of sexual contact now as far as the maturity level of a person obviously is not determined by age because it I'm, in my opinion i feel like your experiences are what make your maturity level so you cannot say that a person who is 13 is going to have the same mentality as another 13 year old that has been through more stuff at the same age in the same years and just like for y'all to know like damien has never acted his age ever since he was like really young he's acted more mature than what he really is so anyway let's go a little bit into who ariadna is herself aside from this creepy pedophile shit going on so she's a youtuber and she has quite a few subscribers she has 160,000 followers on instagram which i personally think she's gained a lot from the victim i want to try avoiding using his name and really just focusing on the perpetrator here that's essentially all she's really known for for even on her famous birthdays, it says associated with, and then she announced in 2018 that she's dating a 13 year old boy. So for all intents and purposes, in my mind, this woman is known not because of her get ready with me, but because of her controversial relationship as she titled that video that is now deleted. So one interesting thing from that Sun article though, which I didn't know before, and, and obviously we need to take all of this with a grain of salt because it's the Sun. It says back in May, of 2018. The beauty vlogger filmed a Q&A in which she revealed her plans to marry the underage Instagram star in just two years time, which would have made him a 15 year old groom. Which one of these talented uh, entertainers who I am not attracted to at all will be the winner? I'm not attracted to any of them, none of them. And that's the way it is. Um, what? Excuse me. So. If she marries him when he's 15, she's gonna be 20 marrying a 15 year old. Why? Like why in what universe does an adult ass woman need to do this? She doesn't have to. Find someone your own age or maybe just don't date anyone. Maybe go to an island that has no children on it. Stay there. Anyway, after this chilling information, let's move on to what I've found online. So although these pictures are public, these come from his Instagram because his Instagram is public. Like I said, let's not reach out, go there, put co disgusting comments because she's the one to blame here. He is just a minor. He doesn't know better at 13. I don't think I would know better either, which is kind of why I'd like for the mom to step up here or for some kind of family to step up and say, hey, maybe not. I've gathered a few images here and I'm gonna blur out his face because he is a minor and this creeps me out in this context. Like I don't even like looking at these pictures. There are multiple videos of him with Ariadna dancing, uh, very tightly dancing. Some dances are more provocative than others, but then again, I'm like, if the dance is provocative, does a 13 year old really need to be doing it with an 18 year old? To which the answer is no. There are multiple posts of them still together, one of which, the latest, is five days ago where he captioned it, baby girl, and she commented saying, I look dead, but I love you. The scariest thing of all of this for me personally, after the fact that the mother dropped the ball immensely, is that number of fans they have calling this relationship goals is absolutely astounding to me because I don't understand what of this is a a relationship because by definition they're not supposed to be together so i wouldn't call it a relationship i would call it either a pedophile or a phoebophile i would call it an abuser and the victim the relationship no it has no bearing here that is not the term we use but the amount of people being like i'm so glad you got back together oh thank god Hopefully, a lot of these people are 13 year olds who also do not understand the context. Whether it's sexual or not, to me, doesn't matter because there is still this difference in power dynamic between an 18 year old and 13 year old, which not only makes me feel increasingly uncomfortable, but obviously points to the fact that this 18 year old could easily manipulate a 13 year old. Everyone has a younger family member that you can pretty much tell them anything and they'll believe you. That's kind of the same situation here. I don't think it's appropriate in whatever form of contact. It just does not make sense to me why they would need to be in the same room, let alone date even if it's without sexual contact. It's gross. It's just disgusting. And I feel like you know where I'm going now. This is an adult woman with a young boy. Let's flip the switch here and turn this into an adult man with a young woman. The witch hunt would have started, a justified witch hunt at that, would have started. Why is it 
that no one is talking about this in the mainstream media. So back when this came up in the first place, Philip DeFranco and a bunch of other people covered it, fine. But the thing is, it was covered and then it just died off and nobody really cared about it anymore and they're still in a relationship and apparently the police is saying that nothing can be done because there's no proof that they're in a sexual relationship which I don't really know how anyone would find proof unless anything was leaked or I genuinely don't know and I don't even know what they would count as a substantiated amount of evidence but it really bothers me that we're in this situation when men or young boys rather I should say are just being left off the wayside whereas women are always quickly defended quickly protected and here I just feel like this boy is just left there to fend for himself which he might be okay with it now and I say okay you know because he probably doesn't realize what's going on. But I feel like this in the long term is gonna fuck him up because knowing that your mom was okay with you dating an 18 year old, I would feel so horrified and just sad that my mom would let that happen that I just don't know what would happen to my entire family relationship. So while this is a disgusting situation, we also have to look at it from the victim's position where we need to think about what is gonna happen to this kid once he grows up and once this relationship inevitably falls apart. Anyways guys, I just wanna talk about this cause it's been a few days. I was really hoping that um, she would accept my Instagram request so I could do a little bit of a more thorough investigation but sadly I don't think she will anytime soon considering, like I said, this drama has resurged. Anyway, let me know what you think about this down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to my patrons as always and let's get right into the fan art.